Hey class, welcome to a new project. I'm excited about this project because I think it's going to bring together some ideas we've been talking about in different projects up until now. It's the idea of you making a model or and drawings to explore the idea of public space. A lot of public art is often site specific. That means it's created in response to a certain place and the community in which the art is meant to reside. It often interprets the history of the place, its people, and perhaps addresses social or environmental issues. This is a piece called Torqued Ellipse by Richard Serra. It's weathering steel. These works by Richard Serra um, emphasize the process of their fabrication and the characteristics of the material and engage the viewer with the site in the work. In the early 1960s, Sarah and the minimalist artists of his generation turned to pretty unconventional industrial materials and began to accentuate the physical properties of their work and freed the work from the traditional pedestal and into the real space of the viewer. Um, sculpture took on new phenomenological experiences of the object and he began to do things like throw lead or put lead into rooms and a bunch of other things and then around 1970 he started focusing on large-scale site-specific sculptures. Torqued Ellipse is a series which began in 1996 as a single elliptical form, forms that are like circles and space are ellipses and then it carried on going from there um, it was inspired by the soaring space of the 17th century Baroque church, uh, seventh in Rome. So they're made of giant steel planes bent into circular sculptures with an open top, and they rotate upward. They're really, really large. He usually begins a sculpture by making a small model and then um, at an inch to foot ratio. So 40 foot piece will start as a 40 inch model, which is important for what you're doing because you're working with planes in this and also models. So this artist would be working exactly the same way you're going to be working. This is one of his famous and controversial pieces. In 1981, he installed this piece called Tilted Arc. It's three and a half meter high arc of steel in the Federal Plaza in New York City. And it, as you can see here, the work bisected, cut it in half, the space. It was really unpopular, and people got really, really annoyed about it. Um, and they began to create a ruckus over it. There was, like, controversy over the installation from the very beginning. Um, largely from workers in the buildings surrounding the plaza who complained that the steel wall they obstructed their passageway so the way they would want to walk through the plaza so they couldn't go the natural way they had to either come in here or go around this way and they did not like that at all it was not a popular thing but Sarah regarded this work as site specific and he did not want to move it or change it he famously issued an often quoted statement regarding the nature of it when he said, to remove the work is to destroy it. Eventually, on March 15, 1989, the sculpture was dismantled by federal workers and consigned to a New York warehouse. Um, for Sarah, this work, an important part of it was that it would interact with the commuter passing through the plaza, uh, a location that was usually passed through quickly on the way to somewhere else. So this became an important part of it, the fact that it did bisect the plaza and change it. He said that unless it remained intact exactly within this location, then it was no longer a work, that it would destroy it. So basically there was a actual trial and a sculpture was on trial. I'm gonna post a link here to SF MoMA on the in the module for you to watch um, it's about this trial of this sculpture and this place and why the people who um, were around these areas who worked here did not want it here and also what he the artist thought about it so go ahead and stop I'm gonna stop this video as part one 
and you're going to watch that as the next thing in the module, and then you'll proceed to part two for the rest of the lecture.